Hi programmers, today I'm going to show you something with some web programming in C Sharp. Um, this might be helpful for you if you ever need to pop up a box on your website because in C Sharp in the web programming is a little bit different than C Sharp in your you know desktop applications because um, you can't pop up windows and stuff like this. What you have to do is you have to embed JavaScript and um, it can uh, be challenging figuring out how to do it. It's not real hard. It's just finding instructions for it. Um, I didn't see anything in any books. Of course I really didn't look that hard. I searched the net most of the time for the stuff I do. But anyway, um, let's get started. We're going to come up here. We're going to create us a new project. Or not a project, a new page. Uh, add new item. Oh, we're going to add it web form. We're going to call him pop up test. P U T. Pop up T E S T. Um, we're going to place code in a separate file. And we're going to be written in C sharp. And we're not going to use the master page because this is just plain. Anyway, you can see I'm using. Visual Web Developer 2008. Alrighty. Well, let's add this baby. Okay. Um, let's go to design. And uh, this here, we're just going to add a button. We're not going to do anything fancy. Um, this is a programming tutorial, not a design tutorial. So we're going to add a button somewhere. And we'll let it call button. We don't care. We can change the name if you want. Pop up. Wow. Pop up box. Now then, we're gonna add some code behind this. Now, um, you can't do, you know, message box show. You can't do anything like that. They may have stuff in Visual Basic, I'm not sure, but I do C Sharp, not Visual Basic. Anyway, not yet anyway. I might someday pick up Visual Basic, but I don't see any reason to. So, this was some, um, anyway, I've created me a variable called CO, you call it anything, and it's just some um, comments in here. I said, just testing embedded JavaScript in C Sharp. And then I've created me a string, too, called JS, you call it anything. And uh, you've got this, uh, the brackets. You got what you have to do is you have to actually write JavaScript, okay? And um, uh, and you know, I'm not a JavaScript programmer. I mean, I can pick up a little bit what I need to if I need to, but I'm do C sharp. But anyway, here we go. So you know, I said script language equals JavaScript and variable NW equals new window open and this opens the new window and you know if you can do all kinds of stuff you can search the web for all the perimeters and verbals that you need you know I put height width size and I wanted a menu bar because if you don't have a menu bar the default is no but on what I'm working on for my work project is I'm gonna put you know like the ministers details in it and it's gonna pop up and then they can just you know do file print so I needed the menu bar but if you Whenever I didn't have this menu bar equals yes in here, it didn't have one. And so that may be what you want to do. Alrighty. And then we come over here in doc document dot write. And you have to actually add the HTML, like um, HTML, head, title, um, end head. And then you do the body. And I said, this is a pop-up. And then that was my first test. And then I thought, well, I need to put more stuff in there. Because I mean, I'm going to put a lot of stuff in my pop-up box. And I'm going to, you know, write it dynamically on the fly. So that's the reason this was important. It was more than just uh, open up a pop-up box from a, you know, a website. I mean, you can do that from a link on the design page. And so, uh, anyway, so then I put this dot response dot write js. Oh, in the, at the end of js, I said plus co. That was a string we already created. And I ended up there. So anyway, let's save this. And this uh, notebook is running really extra slow, so we're just going to go ahead and copy it onto my uh, uh -oh, my website, or it's not my website. I 
I guess it's mine. I'm the one that works on it, but uh, let me still move out this one. Okay. Now then, that was a. This is the second time I've made this video. The first one was just too long, so we we're starting over. CG dash R dot info. Ours didn't say button. Ours said, uh, let's, let's refresh this. Pop up test. What did I name this? Because pop up, let's see. Uh, did I not copy that over? Maybe I didn't. I didn't copy this C sharp or the main page. Okay, let's try to refresh. Okay, this is our page. Okay, so if you click pop up, and you may have to make it say allow pop up windows or something. Boy, that's there it is. It sure took long enough. Here's the code we wrote. Anyway. This is the end of the day's program uh, tutorial. I hope it was a little bit of help. I mean, um, you might say, oh, I don't need a pop-up box, but I bet you will sometime. I know I did. Bye.